Hello everyone, hope you're having a great day. Today, well, we're here all week in Madeira. We've come here, we booked it like kind of last minute, didn't we? Uh, about two weeks ago. Yeah, because uh, we're a bit, a bit worried like if we're going to be on or off with the travel corridors. Corridors, yeah. Um, but we, we've made it. And yeah. we, just, we just found out we don't have to quarantine when we get back. Neither. So there was a lot of noise around like Portugal cases going up um, before we came out. And then we kind of expected for this Thursday, which was yesterday to us, the 10th of September, it'd say we'd have to quarantine when we came back, but it's left, it's done it as mainland Portugal with Madeira exempt. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. we've been very lucky. Yes. We still get to play out, we get yeah. to go shopping. Get to do whatever we want. Get to go out for dinner. Yeah, so yeah, we're just, we're just here for a week. All inclusive hotel. Actually, our hotel's right behind us here. You see? Hi hotel. So, might just be able to see the rat in the buff, I'm not sure. So it's the boy Kalita Beach Hotel. We really, really like it already. Yeah. Right across from the hotel is a nice little beach. Very nice. And right down at the bottom is just like where the sea comes in. And our hotel is right there. Very convenient. Some really nice day beds up there. Oh yeah. Some... If you follow us on Instagram there's some really cute photos of people yeah. up there. I really like this spot here. That's a nice spot. The food really nice. Really good. Oh yeah, the food like they always change it up at night. We've had like the Mediterranean night. There's been like a like Italian night or something like that. And Orient. I haven't any of those now. Isn't that Orient? <laughs> no, there's been a Mediterranean. There's Come been on. no Madeiran. Been an Oriental night. Yesterday was like a travellers' night. Anyway, it's there's three buffets a day, and then they give you little snacks in between. Yeah, yeah. You can just go up and just get free ice cream, which I'm I love and all that. So this is a snack section. They always have like random things here. They've had like chicken nuggets, they've had meats, croquettes, and they yeah. had some water yesterday. That was fish fingers. Yeah, good. They have like little bits of sandwiches and little cakes. It's, like it's really good. A bit, bit of fruit over here. It's brilliant. <laughs> this is this is on all day though, isn't it? No, it's so like between meal times. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. You get to have a cheeky fish finger. Yeah, some good stuff there. I like the look of this carrot cake. Yum yum. Please take some more people in the fridge. Yeah, sure. Chocolate oh. cake, some chocolate cake. Please. One thing they do have here is a kids club. I'm not sure if that's open currently. Um, but they've got a nice seating area inside. They've got basketball going on currently. It's really nice in here. Yeah, pool table, bar. Again, I don't think that bar's open at night. We haven't seen it been open. Ping pong table further at the back. We've also got a, an indoor pool and a spa. Yeah. It's nice. Hello. So the other thing we have to do whilst we're here is we have to wear our masks indoor, but we don't have to wear them on the pool, which is really good. Oh, uh, the pool bar. Yeah, the staff here are absolutely brilliant. They they have to wear their masks all day, inside and outside, but they have been fantastic. Yes. Come out to the lift, and our room is right here. I'm a bit worried at start coming. I think it would be really noisy, but it's not at all. Two, three, three. three. Two, three, three. Beeper. Oh, the beeper. Right. And we enter. Okay. Straight into the main bit. We've got a nice little seat in there. Excuse the mess. Little chair, little table. Nice bed. Plenty of uh, places to plug your stuff. Nice little telly going on. Little fridge there where Bess just stashed the cake, haven't you? Some uh, little storage going on under here. My underpants. <laughs> I think there's a safe That's in there, isn't there? Ah, yes, there we are. And out here we have got a little balcony. It's pretty big, pretty big balcony. The view's not the best. It's supposed to be a mountain view, but we're just basically facing another hotel across. And the mountain's right up there, in front of us. But, um, yeah, it's not too bad. I thought it'd be really like, loud uh, being in bed, being right next to the road, but it's not uh, really, really, really loud. Yeah. Yeah. You actually can hear the traffic out there. Get that door, bang, really quiet. Yeah, where else is it? Bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. I showed you the bathroom. So this is the bathroom. Lovely stand-up shower in there. Nice little sink. Hello everybody. Toilet and 
a sit down sink. I don't know. What do you actually use that for? Is that to wash your bum after you've done your thing in there? Not really sure. I've washed my feet in there. I don't know if that's right neither. But it is kind of useful. And then we've got here just, just a bit of storage where you can hang your clothes, put our suitcases, uh, drawers there to put your shoes. We like it. Really good. And the bed. The bed is really, really comfy. Hey! Oh, hello, are you? <laughs> and police are yeah, there as well. Massive, massive, massive pillows. Really good. I've had some good night sleeps here so far. Very good. Brilliant. Very blackout. Yeah, very blackout. Like, there was one night where I literally had like 10 hours sleep. It was like 10, 10 a.m. and it, it felt like it was 5 a.m. Just how dark it was in this room. But that's brilliant if you're looking for something like that where the curtains are like blackout is spot on. So yeah, we're gonna hit now into the pool. Oh, but you're, you're ready already. I know. <laughs> no, 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 I'm ready. Oh, now she's ready. Now I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> so we're making our way down the marina and we're gonna head over to the H2O at Madeira, check-in thing, uh, where we're gonna see the dolphins today. Hopefully some whales. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, well excited for this. So I've got some cream on. Yeah, I got some cream. Got and our masks ready for the boat. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it should be should be a good day. It's two hours, forty euros. Let's head over there now. Look at all the inflatables up there. Shark. I like that stingray one. So yeah, there's some uh, nice little restaurants going down here. I don't think all of them are open, but uh, there's a few to go at. Look at the mountains up there, it's so high up. Wow, look at that shot there. Palm tree and mountain. Beth, which like boat would you like to go out in one of them? This is an ideal boat. That one that was like the big one in here. The big one? Yeah, you want enough like indoor space, but enough outdoor space too. I was going to pick that one, but there's not a lot of outdoor space. This one, that one there, that's nice, it is nice. You want, to, you want it somewhere with a bit of a decking, don't you? So you can like that, like that. I do. I think we'll be on something like that. Yeah, no, I think we're going to be on something like this, this boat here. Might be a bit bumpy. So we're going to aim to sit at the back. Yeah. Here we are, H2O Madeira. Whale and dolphin watching. Oh, yes. So we're doing the afternoon one. Then they're doing morning and afternoon. And you can see here what they've been spotting the last few days. So no, spotted dolphin is very popular. I'd love to see a sperm whale. Oh, that's sad. I that know. <laughs> These are chances of seeing all the other dolphins and whales. So yeah, very keen to see some whales if we can, hopefully. Mm, let's have a look at your outfit. Very good. <laughs> and here we are. Here's our boat. Let's get on in. What we do here is go back, 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 back.
Yeah. 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 How good was that trip? That was absolutely good. brilliant. We saw bullnose dolphins. Bottlenose. Oh, bottlenose. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say, bullnose? Bullnose. Bottlenose. Bo bottlenose. Dolphins, spotted yeah, dolphins. we saw bottlenose dolphins, spotted dolphins, and a sperm whale, didn't we? Yep. Really Hopefully good trip. We managed to get like enough good footage. Yeah. So you can see it. Yeah. Yes, did you really enjoy it? What would you say out of ten? I don't know, what did you say? Solid, solid eight, weren't it? I was it? thinking eight. Um, tour guide was like really good as well, giving loads of information about the dolphins and whales. Brilliant, and then we had a little bit of a bit of a wild ride coming in there, didn't we? We were like, doing uh, very sharp <laughs> turns and stuff. Silly, didn't we? Yeah, you got a bit carried away, but yeah, highly recommend doing that. Absolutely brilliant. We'll leave and the link in the description below. Yeah, down below. So we just had some dindins at um, dindins. We had some lunch. Sorry, at Onda Azul, which is the a la carte restaurant just on site. You kind of come out and it's just on the side. When you're all inclusive, you get to have two reservations a week. There are kind of restrictions on the actual menu, but there's plenty there for when you're all inclusive. You can pay extra for more. So what did you get? I got garlic bread for starter, followed up with um, pizza that had ham, onion and peppers on it. You defeated him? Yeah, he defeated me. I couldn't finish it. It's too filling because we only had like breakfast like four hours ago. Well stuff. <laughs> Uh, and then we finished up, both of us got chocolate mousse, but you got for your starter, you got... Uh, Caesar salad, and then I got a uh, burger. You did, yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yes, it was really yeah, we nice. They were good, they were really nice, really We were nice. supposed to have a light breakfast, but then they got the hash browns out and one thing led to another. Uh, right? Need a bit of breathing space down there, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> These shorts are elastic as well, it's just not enough. We're it's gonna it, take... It's just nothing more satisfying than great. We're thinking about going up there and taking one of them pregnant best friends photos, weren't we, and holding each other's belly. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's a burger belly and it's a pizza belly. We actually discussed about dinner tonight. <laughs> it's an oriental buffet. Oh, uh, it was so funny. How's your beer going down? <laughs> Slowly. Morning. So today we are doing something very traditional around here in Madeira. We're going to Boggan racing. I'm excited for this. This should be quite fun. Not to Boggan racing as in you know about like cool running, so to say. But this is like an old tradition, very, very old school style. It rides like two people in like a little basket. It doesn't look the safest, but they have two people on either side that just whiz you down. So Sounds fun, can't wait to do it. Let's go. But first, we need some breakfast, don't we? Breakfast. Pancakes? No. <laughs> I'm getting pancakes. Oh yes. Eggs. Is that is exactly what you're gonna get? I think they are excellent. <laughs> do you think you need that extra course of pancakes? Yeah. So what have you got? I've got a chocolate sauce, honey, and chocolate sprinkles on it. Right. Yes. Pancakes to start the day. And I've got an apricot yogurt, natural yogurt. Is that all you had? That's all I had. Haha. <laughs> this is so smooth. I believe I'll smooth this is the parts of it. So, Madeira. So today we're going to lunch hall and we are going up this right up there, the cable cars. That's up here, right to the top, around Monte. And this is what we're going to be doing. It's a bargain. This is what we were talking about before. It looks so much fun in the little basket. That's going to be me and Beth going down. <laughs> looks fun. And then head all the way down, back to Punch Hall. And start do some sightseeing. Perfect. It's like a Rubik's Bimbit. Cube. Bimbit. <laughs> right, where's the front cover? Is that that? Mm, it can be, just re refold them. Done? 
Thank you. Made it out now. We're in uh, Monte, top of the mountain-ish, right above um, Funchal City Centre. But we, the taxi man's just dropped us off in the botanical gardens. So yeah, we can have a look round here. He said there's a church up at the top. We're having a look, and then it's like we're gonna take the cable car down. I'm not sure if the toboggans are running today. Ugh. I read on the website that it's open till one today. But the taxi man said, oh, it's not open, maybe because of COVID or something. I don't maybe. Know. So we'll, we'll see how we get on. These steps are very strange. Just found out that the toboggans are not running today. <laughs> I'm so sad. It's annoying that because there's nothing on the website saying that it, it's closed on Sundays. They're not running. We just have to come down this cable car, fortunately. Sad times. Hopefully we'll find some at today down in Funchal and uh, get a drink or something. Let's just have a little wander around. Here we are. We found our cable car. Bye bye. And we're off. Woohoo! I feel sick. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We're going down. <laughs> down to Punch Up. We have to pretend we're on toboggans. <laughs> no. Oh, they did, oh, did the skyliner. <laughs> oh, look, Plato! <laughs> Hello. And welcome to the cable car. This is our tour guide, Bethany. So he's going to tell us everything about the cable cars when it first established and... So it was actually built last year. Was it? Mm. How long is it? Um, three metres long. <laughs> and it takes two hours to get down. <laughs> the seats are pink, as you can see. And we are in France. That's how it should be uh, like a river flowing through here. No water. Call the police. Oh, oh my god, hot oh, wow. Hot oh, wow. <laughs> 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 So we've had a complete disaster. <clears throat> we've been on the cable car, went down, and basically got stuck. We got we had to go through the botanical gardens, but we're like, no, no, we don't want to do that. And we ended up walking back up on ourselves, back to the cable car, where we thought, right, go down the lift. It'll take us a bit further down. It took us up. We were like going back, back up the mountain. And then luckily we found a bus no, to take us back down. We walked, managed to walk down and then this big chicken came out of nowhere. Oh yeah, it frightened me to death that chicken. Luckily it found a bus, stuck us down near the marina. So I'm just going to have a bit of a walk down here get a drink. I think we're going to head back. So I'm so sorry about the vlog. I thought we were going to do some exciting things today. We've only done a cable car and uh, a bus ride, haven't we? <laughs> oh dear. That's part of the Chronicles of Child Adventures. <laughs> I've never seen a pigeon before. I've not seen a cow pigeon before. <laughs> cow pigeon. <laughs> not seen a Dalmatian pigeon before. Cow pigeon. Oh yeah. We're gonna have so many adventures and get lost on the way. All right. <laughs> Never <we're> going back. <laughs> I'm allowed a McDonald's. McDonald's, spotted it. It's also a Pizza Hut, so you're there for. Yeah, McDonald's, right across the road. And Pizza Hut, oh my god. 
God send. Yes. Ah, ah, nom, nom, nom. <laughs> We're just trying to do a bit of jump. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at this view. It is absolutely amazing. We've just come up here and only just discovered this on our sixth day. It's incredible up here. It's like a sun terrace, I'll show you around. Nice little beds going on there. Some umbrellas there. And look at this for a view. Wow, that is incredible, that, isn't it? I'm going to do a time lapse of the sunset again. Nice higher elevation up here. It's a bit of a clearer day today as well, so I should get a better sunset going on. And here's an overview of the beach. Look at that, this is our pool. This is an absolute epic picture up here, isn't it? You can see the marina in the distance, swimming pool. Absolutely quality. And there she is, Senorita! And how can we forget the mountains? Whoa! It's so cool seeing that there. Just like that. What a beautiful sunset that was, eh? Really nice. Look you at look. the sky, look how pretty the sky is. You look very nice tonight, sweetheart. How do you? So we're just planning on having a few drinks tonight, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Right then, see you at the pool. Here we are, we've got the cards ready. We've got our cocktails here. I think we're doing a bit of a challenge, aren't we? Trying to work our way down the cocktail list, what they're offering. So this is the first one. Which one's this one, Beth? Lemon. That crazy. Lemon jack crazy. Ooh. And we're going to play, what's this game called? I don't know what it's called, I just call it. Rummy. Three or one for the other. Not rummy. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we, we, we're playing it. Beth's told me the rules. We're going for it. Go on, Beth. Shuffle them cards. Ready? Yeah, go on. Show your skills. Whoa. <laughs> I did it better than before. Like. Oh, that was brilliant. I've just wow. been nervous on camera. Are you confident though? Yeah. Shuffle that a good few times, so... One, two... Here we are, sports fans. We're on cocktail number three. And it's very powerful, isn't it, Beth? Do you want to show the fans your facials on when you're drinking this drink? Go on, do it, do it for the channel. It's horrible. It's horrible. Go on for the fans, for the fans, go on for the fans. to make it back to the room actually. Can we give up on this one? No, you have to drink it on. Sorry. Rules. Can we, shall we give up? <laughs> so before you come to Madeira, you have to have a test within 72 hours, um, a Covid test saying that you're negative, or you do one at the airport. We did one at home but it didn't come back in time so we did one at the airport yeah it was a bit traumatic because somebody else doing it for you like super fast was a bit worse than just doing the home test or like doing it like yeah. in your car it was like literally neck back and she had like a big swab test which like i think she touched my brain a little bit she touched yeah. my brain definitely <laughs> i went blind <laughs> uh, but it came back within seven hours we landed at like 8 p.m so it worked out quite well because yeah. we got it in the middle of the night yeah and when we got here I thought it was really good because they knew we were going to be isolated until we got our results back. They Which was only 12, like, 12 hours, they said, didn't it? 12 hours. Up to 12, 12 hours. They give us like um, a kind of a number, said ring this number and they'll give you a three course meal to your room. So we're yeah, like, so that was really good, that, wasn't it? You just like pick whatever you want, basically, whatever on the buffet, I think. Um, so yeah, we literally went to sleep that night and then we had our results, didn't we? Negative. 
healthy. <laughs> All good. So if you've got any questions about travelling or the coming to Madeira yeah. or the hotel the during Covid, then we're more than happy to answer. Yeah, leave your comments down below and uh, we'll get back to you on them. If you enjoyed the video, give it a massive thumbs up. Uh, subscribe down below if you're new here. And uh, till then, we get up and we go again. Thanks for watching. Bye.